Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I did a news video the other day, and there was this video of this dude in a KA-50, and like the city was all destroyed, and it had fire going on, and I thought it was just the coolest freaking thing. And um, since posting that, a few viewers have told me that um, you can create that yourself in the mission editor by um, creating a trigger zone and then creating a trigger for at the mission start for scenery destruction. Um, that's pretty cool. So I've jumped in here and I've tried doing this myself. Uh, one viewer in particular, Paul Jepson, was kind enough to walk me through some of this um, to kind of figure it out. And um, let me show you what we have. So if we go to Rules for Triggers, we have this guy. So basically you just do Mission Start, and then you go in here and you add the action of scenery destruction zone uh, I pick level 70 percent let's go like 60 percent I had to create a new trigger zone one so that won't be here and you won't be able to do it until you create that trigger zone that is gonna be trigger zone list there is my trigger zone so I had to create that here, and then the radius. Now, what I've learned the hard way is that doesn't look like a very big area, but holy shit, it just won't load. I've tried 75,000, so I was told the number of 8,000, which isn't much, up to about 19,000. So I'm going to try for 19,000. Uh, that seems like a much more realistic area to model and let's see what that does for me here and um, I didn't put any of those objects in there like the fires and whatnot but we can now I gotta remember where those objects are I think here add or modify static object uh, effects Oh, big smoke, huh? Throw big smoke here. Let's go back there again. Let's throw big smoke here. Put one there. We'll go with that, I guess. I don't know why I can't find the fire. I'll hit save. And again, that area has been created now. I have a KA-50 in here. I want to fly. So I'm going to go fly, and uh, let's see how long... Yes, save. Let's see how long it takes to load this damn thing. Before I did this, and it just hung, when I did like 100,000, it was just ridiculous. And then when I was trying to load 50,000 for the radius, um, I loaded into the game and I was just froze in the cockpit of the KA-50. Now this is moving along much better, so Paul was right. Let's choose this one. Let's see what this actually gives us now. Yeah, so 19,000 seems much more reasonable. Oh, so the smoke is the fire effect, but I swear there was more than one of those. So this looks pretty cool. So basically, I've leveled an area and chose to destroy it by 60%. there used to be more than one smoke effect for destruction. 
I could be wrong, and it wouldn't be the first time. But it is neat that I've been able to create this kind of beat up, destroyed area. And it was as simple as just creating that trigger. But again, be forewarned and be careful because you'll get into a scenario if you make it much bigger than what I did right now, um, it won't load or it'll hang or it'll lock up. It just gets ugly. So, so this should make for um, much more realistic, war-torn kind of experience. Yeah, that looks awesome. I started to do this over the Beirut area, and then I thought about the impl implications of it, and, you know, in this day and age, how sensitive people are about things. I wasn't going to do it to be a dick. I just thought, you know, let's kind of make it look a little realistic, right? But not. Probably not a good idea. So I chose this little region near Damascus here to see what it would look like. And uh, again, very impressive. So if you want to create that, you know, war-torn, um, blown-out area uh, for a mission, it should be as simple as first creating a trigger zone and then linking that trigger zone in the mission editor to, you know, be triggered at the start of the mission and then pick the uh, action of scenery destruction. Very cool stuff, man. You know, I, I never realized how much is actually in this mission editor and how powerful it is. Uh, I think it's just because it's, I don't know, it's overwhelming. There's so much to do in this mission editor. And uh, there's not much about the mission editor that is really easy. Um, it's kind of like, here's this powerful tool, figure it out. And it's pretty much the tool that, you know, everybody uses to create the campaigns and the various missions that we get that come with the modules and the maps and whatnot. So it's the same tools they use, but yeah, it is a little bit overwhelming some days, just looking at it. Now, here we go in a more densely populated area with the destruction turned on which is more like that downtown region of the map. So about 60% of the area is somewhat flattened here. Now this took a little bit longer to load in, but it didn't crash me like before. And performance-wise, it definitely seems to be taking up a little bit more performance, and I'm not sure why. I mean, it's just a different texture. So basically, I've just flattened half of the city in various spots by doing this. From another perspective, from a fast mover over the uh, more largely populated area of Damascus, it definitely looks pretty cool. And again, I'm not saying destroying a real city would be cool. I'm just saying that, you know, to create more realistic, bombed out looking scenarios in DCS, 
this is how you would do it. And again, it does feel Altitude. Altitude. like it's actually eating a little bit more performance, but it could just be because I'm over this densely populated area right here, and that's going to happen. And I do have all the bells and whistles turned on, visually speaking, um, when I use 2D. But as you can see, the destruction on the larger buildings look really cool. Altitude. So anyways... Here we are, and this is pretty much all I've done. I've just created this trigger over an area, and again, be careful how big you make this bubble, because uh, as you saw, at around 19,000, it seemed manageable. Uh, anything above that is probably gonna be a little tough, so there's my trigger, mission start, and choose it from the dropdown, mission start, I guess I can name the trigger. Can you? There we go. Destruction. And then over here, after you have created that trigger zone, you can choose it from the drop down list. And your option under actions is going to be scenery destruction zone. And I chose the level of 60% and basically just hit save and that's it and then jump in and fly your mission pretty simple so this is just a quick and easy video I didn't want to make something you know super complex and super long but uh, a big thanks goes out to uh, viewer Paul Jepson for giving me a hand with this it's been a while since I've touched this mission editor and um, I don't usually mess with it too much. I'll usually throw some planes down on a map in certain areas so I can make nice videos of that area scenery-wise or, you know, something that looks pretty cool to kind of create a mission within uh, to have some fun. But I don't make, like, in-depth missions very often. Um, now that I know I can do something like this, it's definitely tempting to do a little more. So I hope this helps you out. Uh, and again, this is just a simple creating a trigger zone and then selecting scenery destruction as the action for the trigger and having that begin at the start of the mission. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to hit that like button. And until next time, guys.